going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Technique Tuesday. On this episode, we're going to be going over some single stick throws. We're going to learn how to do this from a couple different positions, as well as different ways to do these techniques. So grab your stick, grab your partner, and let's get training. Okay, so first throw that we're going to go over is off of the forehand strike. So I set the position up. I'm going to check with my left hand onto the live hand here. I'm going to grab, and I'm going to make sure my stick transitions from the top to the bottom down here. With all this space free, I'm going to consume the space with a strike to the ribs, making sure that my stick gets nice and tight between the bicep and the rib cage here. I'm going to roll upward, so palms going up, making sure that my stick gets stuck between the bicep and the back right here. Before I push, I'm going to get my right leg behind the base. I'm going to pull the arm like a seatbelt, and I'm going to push dragging him all the way down to this section right here. Okay, from the other side, I set the reference point here. I grab the hand, strike underneath, get the stick nice and tight, step behind the base, seat belt and throw. There we go. So one important thing about this throw is when I get the stick into the position I need, I'm gonna roll to lock the stick in. I know I have a strong lock. If I can push and my partner moves with it very effortlessly, so when I step to throw the base, I have a lot of leverage in the stick. Now if you really want to strengthen the throw, when I get the stick into the position of the throw, rather than rotating to lock, I'm going to point the stick up, I'm going to bring it across the neck, and I'm going to use the arm to initiate the throw. So now I'm going to have pressure on the neck and on the shoulder, dragging them down. So moving on to the next throw, I'm going to step into my backhand strike, parry this hand down, and follow up with a puño. I want my partner to catch this. Once I get the safety and active grabbing this hand, I can use this to lift, strike, and rotate into my next throw. Okay, so when we break that down, I step, I parry, I bait. This hand is going to be nice and tight. So rather than pushing, I'm going to pull to lengthen the arm. Okay, he wants this hand to come this way. I'm going to take my safety hand. I'm going to lift up at the same time. I'm going to occupy this entire space with the strike. Nice and tight. Then I'm going to rotate just like I did, except now I'm on the outside, leading them into the throw. Very important when I do this throw, once I create the contact and the connection with the safety hand, I want to make sure that my partner is going to come to me, not me going towards my partner. I want them to come to me and extend the arm, giving me tons of space to work with this Strike, lock, and throw. Now again, if you want to add a little more emphasis, when you create the position, extend and hit rather than rotating to lock. Point the stick up again on the shoulder closest to you. Put the stick behind the neck, bend the arm and use that to initiate the throw. So my pressure is on the back of the neck and at the shoulder. So for the last and final throw, there's two ways to go about it. First way, going through the disarm into the lock and then the throw, or just going straight into it. I'm going to start off with an angle one here, and then I'm going to turn and hit on the tempo for the backhand side. I want to align my stick with the right trap, and I want to be able to grab my stick and crank it down to lower my partner. Once I crank here, I want my left arm to wrap around and grab the same position that I have with my right hand, and I'm going to use my own neck to create a trap. I'm going to take the right arm and I'm going to secure it across my body and I'm going to pull both ends to choke. If I want to transition to the throw, I'm going to take the same right arm. I'm going to go under and up behind the shoulder to grab my own stick, pulling to choke and to take them down. So if we want to go about this with a disarm, we set the reference point, we come around. Instead of striking here, we're going to strike down. This is what we call the heaven and earth concept. Disarm it here, bring it back, crank, reach over, secure the arm, extend, get that nice and tight. Arm comes through, grabbing behind the shoulder and into the throat. If you want to give an extra boost for the takedown, once you get into the position here, once this is nice and tight, you can use your right or your left leg to break the base from behind the knee to ensure that they're going down. Still maintaining that we can keep it as a lock and a choke or continuing them down to the takedown if you want them to. 
Alright, so that was your Technique Tuesday for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just remember that when you are training with your partner, take your time. Some of these positions are very, very delicate. So to avoid any unnecessary harm, make sure that you guys are paying mind to all those small positions. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, catch you guys then.